Hey everybody, so today I just want to be talking about data recovery and hard drives and what not to do, especially if you really need your data. So we do specialize in data recoveries here. We have lots of sophisticated tools. We have like a PC3000 and we also have lots of other ways of getting your data off. You might have checked out our other videos where we actually been doing USBs. We do regular hard drives. We do USB type of hard drives that are external. And we also do regular SATA drives, uh, we do SSDs, we do all those types of drives. And we've seen a lot of stuff that's actually come in here. And we just really want you to know, um, if you do have something that's extremely important, like if you have a business or if you have um, any family pictures that are very important, maybe wedding photos, child photos, anything like that, the best thing to do is right when the hard drive starts to go bad and you can't connect it anymore or you can't read anything anymore from the hard drive, is just to bring it in to a specialized place like us and that will be your best opportunity to be getting any type of data from the drive. Um, we've seen a lot of stuff and a lot of people that come in with um, opened up hard drives, um, maybe drives have been worked on from another data recovery center, or maybe people have been opening it themselves or been removing uh, the boards or PCBs themselves and lots of lots of lots of different things. So I want to show you some examples of what drives we have here. Don't worry, they're not any customer's drives. These are just ones that we actually do have here that are just opened and um, defective. We do have drives something like this, an external drive. Maybe you plug it in, maybe you buy from like a, a typical retail store and it just has a USB connection and you would store it as like an external drive. We also have, uh, what else do we have here? We also have 3.5 inch drives that are like this. They're mainly for desktops. Um, You've maybe seen them a lot. They, they're worked on as well. But you want the best possible chance or any chance at all to be getting data off of any type of drive. You definitely don't want to make sure that you open these screws or you open um, a board here, remove the board, or especially the worst case, and this is something that you don't want to do, or you don't want to be giving a repair shop something like this. There's the protections here and there's warranty stickers here for a reason. Um, the manufacturer definitely doesn't want you to be removing it, and especially every type of data recovery repair shop doesn't want you to remove any of these screws or remove anything like that. Your data isn't going to be right there. You're going to open it like this and actually see your data there. You have one picture, any accounts that are going to be on there, or any pictures. or You're not going to see that in the platter there. What you're going to see if you open it is most likely that you're going to get dust on it. You might accidentally scratch it, and you might actually have any type of chance that you do have for data recovery that's going to be gone. That's what you do get when you do open up a drive like this and you bring it to recovery shop. Now, if you do take it to a recovery shop and they're not able to recover it, it's pretty much the same idea because if one recovery shop can't do it, they've opened it, they've worked on it, it's going to be the same way for every other recovery shop. So the best chance is, is to have places that have very high sophisticated tools like us. We have like a PC3000 and that can do highly sophisticated repairs, especially like head replacements, PCB swaps, bio swaps, and lots of other sophisticated ones. So whenever you do get an external drive that does have the USB here, you can... What we can do is we can find a donor board that actually does look like like this, and this is a 2.5 inch SATA drive, and we can convert it from this USB so we can connect it through our 2.5 inch SATA drive. Um, there's ways you can do that. We can also swap the BIOS, and we can do lots of recoveries that way. But if you're opening yourself and you try to um, maybe move something yourself, or damage the board, or damage a BIOS chip, or damage, or maybe damage something else on there then there's not much we can really do for you or there's not much anyone can really do for you at that point. So if you do have a drive, just remember it's not like any other type of repair. This is They're very sophisticated and they're very sensitive. So even if you use data recovery tools, such as like any type of software, you can overwrite files and sectors that had your data and you can accidentally overwrite them so then you're not able to get the data. And what that's gonna do is it's not gonna make us be able to get the data as well. So pretty much the bottom line here is not to open up this, is it's to bring in something more like a typical drive like this and just ask someone to actually do data recovery for you that's a specialized place that has lots of specialized tools and not to actually try and open it yourself and have something more like this. So more like this and not like this. There's a big difference. And there is almost no chance, especially you'll see there's a scratch actually on the platter itself there. There's no chance this is going to be recovered. And no chance that anyone's even going to take an attempt to recover it on the data as well. We want to invite everyone to come in for data recoveries, but it's not only a waste of 
of our time. It's a waste of your time if you would bring it in something that's been opened and that's been worked on or anything else that, that, that might have been tried and been done before. If the job doesn't work, you take it to one specialized repair shop and have them work on it, like us. Um, if we're not able to recover the data, then most likely another place isn't able to do it either. USBs are pretty much the same way. You've seen our, our other videos where we actually do USB repairs. We can actually link that video in the description below. You don't want to be opening them as well. You can break off some traces there while you're even opening it, especially if it's bent. And once that trace is gone, it's going to make it a lot more difficult to, to get the data. Um, we do lots of jobs on those as well. We do lots of jobs on regular hard drives, and especially for solid state drives, we do those as well. We do a really good job on them, so if you're really interested, definitely come in. If it's in the laptop, leave it in the laptop. If it's an external drive, just leave it alone. There's no need to actually open your drive or anything like that. There's no data that's going to be there right when you open it like that. Your best chance is to bring it in, let a professional do it. We have all the professional tools here, and it'll be your best chance to get your data. So I just hope that was a little educational and just kind of more of an FYI type of thing. But that's the best way you can get your data is just to leave it alone, take it to a professional repair shop like us. So we do lots of USBs, lots of data recoveries, lots of liquid spills. Anything else, just let us know. We have our links in the description below. Please leave a like if you did find this video very informative and just kind kind of a, a good FYI just for you guys to, to, to know about data recovery. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have a good one. Bye.